In this video, I'm going to show you how to create something awesome like this in Excel. So, um, it's a nice pretty dashboard, but it's so much more than that. It's interactive. If I want to see what happened in France, I can click on France, and all the charts change to show me only what happened in France. If I want to see what happened to mangoes and apples, still in France, I can click on those two. And I can even select the date, so September till December, see what happened. This is an interactive dashboard, hugely, hugely useful, available from Excel 2010 and more recent. So I have another video where I show you how to make a pivot table which summarizes all this data. Um, and we're going to go from here to what we have there with a few steps, many of which are actually just copy and paste. So. Here we have our pivot table. We're going to analyze insert slicer. This is the clickable thing that we saw. Let's have one for fruit and one for person and one for country. These are slicers. So here I've got fruit and they're basically just filters. So if I click on apples, it only shows me apples. If I click on durian, it only shows me durian. If I click here, it shows me all. But they can be linked to other things as well that are not in the pivot table. So I can click on France and this is the sales only in France. So we've got these three. We're also going to insert a timeline. Only works for dates, so let's just click on sales date. Same idea, just is more similar to how you would work with dates. So now from this second pivot table, I'm going to copy it and paste it over here to create a new pivot table and with this pivot table I'm going to analyze not fruit I'm going to analyze person by sales amount and I'm going to paste it again and in this one I'm going to analyze let's say country and take out fruit there we go so I've got three pivot tables here and all of these three are actually linked to the three slices and the timeline, like that. They all change for them. Um, if we want to change that, so for example, it's kind of silly to link the country table to the country slicer. So in the, in the pivot table, I'm going to go to filter connections and I'm going to untick it to link to country here. These three are in the dashboard sheet, these four are in the pivot test sheet. So I'm going to unlink it there. I could do the same and unlink this in the same way. You can also go to the slicer itself, slicer options, and choose the report connections that you want it to link to and take it off that way. Um, okay, let's uh, get these out, but first let's insert some charts. So from this pivot table, like you would insert a normal chart, we can insert a bar chart. And here let's have a line chart. And here we're going to have a pie chart. Like that. Um, and then we're just going to select all of these things, all of these objects uh, that we've just input and we're going to copy them and paste them into another sheet. So cut, go to another sheet, we'll call that dashboard two, we already have one, paste them in here, and then you just kind of rearrange your items, but they're all basically linked to each other. So you do want to clean up your charts, they're not very good as the defaults, but if I zoom out, you can click on this and it filters, click on this and it filters. And so now you've basically created your interactive dashboard.